Good afternoon, everyone. This thing with college, esteemed scholars, and fellow attendees, it is about an honor and a privilege to stand before you today at Borobudur International Symposium 2023. My name is Bobby Swendra. And I am lecturer at Mechanical Engineering Department, Singapore Bangsa Karawang University, Indonesia. I would like to express my deep gratitude to the organizing committee to providing this platform for the exchange knowledge and ideas that drive our field of research forward. Over the next seven minutes, I will be discussing one strategy to increase energy efficiency, which is for using passing material PCM in cooling equipment like razor. This topic is particularly important because Indonesia requires a strategy to enhance the efficiency of cooling devices to be optimizing costs of electricity consumption. Through my research, I am to highlight how PCM as an advanced material addresses issues in refrigeration machine by effectively managing peak loads. Ultimately, this contributes to expanding knowledge base in thermal engineering. Population growth in cities and global warming will increase energy requirement for cooling buildings. The use of refrigeration equipment such as refrigerator, freezer, and air conditioner will be increasingly used to, to hotter environmental temperatures and to prevent heat strokes. Energy consumption, especially electrical energy, will increase in urban area. Meanwhile, in 2021, household consumes the most electrical energy compared to industrial and transportation sectors, namely 114 terawatt hours, or 44.9% of the total demand of for electrical energy. One strategy to increase energy efficiency that can be used in cooling equipment such as freezer is using chain material, PCM. PCM is an advanced material that can solve problem in refrigeration machine because it can be set for the peak lot. There's a previous studies of PCM. The first at the Falco et al. 2015, this result, the cold storage system can be used for household with temperature of 7 degrees Celsius to 12 degrees Celsius because PCM can store a cold energy at 5.5 degrees Celsius. And then the et al. 2017, the result saw, saw the, the temperature change on the wall of the cold storage was minus 15 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. And then this method, the freezer's temperature was monitored with the thermocouple sensor and Adam the telegraph for 12 hours, the world's remained unmounted during this test, focusing softly on the tracking wall temperature from the start up to 12 hours later. Additionally, the experiments also wall temperature after turning off the electricity for interval of 4, 6, 8, and 10 hours. And then this result, research result, frequency of sensor thermocouple, we have a uh, calibration of type T thermocouple and Adam thermocouple sensor with calibrated with alcohol thermometer. Result of real analysis of thermocouple sensor and data, we can see this table. And then this result about measuring the wall temperature of the freezer cooler without passing material by turning off the freezer for 4, 6, 8, and 10 hours. And then this uh, comparison between the temperature of the freezer wall using PCM and 
without VCM. The dry ice gel type PCM has proven to be very effective in keeping the temperature on the freezer below degree Celsius, below zero degree Celsius, so that store food remains intact even when there's no electricity. And then this conclusion, verification for instrument has compared between the temperature of thermocouple and calibrated thermocouple which result this compression was valid based on the linear clarification with R square value of 0 0.99 and then this SGL show good performance is maintaining the wall temperature in freezer under 0 degrees celsius ladies and gentlemen thank you for your attention throughout this presentation it has been an honor to share our research with you today and to be a part of this distinguished conference our paper represents countless hours of dedication, collaboration, and intellectual exploration, and we are grateful for the opportunity to contribute to advance of knowledge in our field. I want to express our gratitude to our co-author, mentor, funding agency, and the organizer of this conference for providing us with this platform. And we also thank you for to all of you for your engaging questions and insightful discussion. Conferences like this are not only a showcase of research, but also an avenue for networking, learning, and building collaboration that will drive our field forward. Thank you!